five going live. Hello. G'day and welcome to my YouTube video channel. I'm Annapolis, your credit guru from Australia, and this is my Q&A where I come and address my followers with a QA and a so you can get to comment. And this show goes for about an hour. And I also have some people who support my channel. I'd like to give them a big shout out. And also I like to shout out, where's my mouse here? Shout out to all the members in my um, YouTube channel as well throughout the show. So before we get started, I'd just like to do a quick sound check, if I may, just to make sure everything's working okay. So... I don't want to go halfway through the show and realise everyone's trying to tell me, Ian, there's no sound in the show. Because this is be live. What does it take to create a world-class smart home system? Well, it takes a... I've got to wait for the ad to finish. And that's another thing. If you want to support me and it costs you nothing to support me, just simply watch my ads. <clears throat> okay, let me just hear this. Okay, mm. hello, testing okay, one. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's working great. Now I've got to go back to this. Uh, where are we? This monitor here, just so I can read your comments as they come along. G'day, Steve. So it's all about commenting in this show as well. So um, if you want me to say hello to you and you're in the, sh in your, you're in the live show, not the replay, uh, say hello and where you're from and I'll, I'll, I'll address you because this is all about addressing everybody in the comments there. Um, it's not about fobbing you off. Let me see if I can get a bit bigger. There we go. Beautiful. So at the moment, we've got um, LUC 1800. Hello from Conway, uh, NC, whatever the NC stands for, South Connecticut or something. And there's Steve right behind me. G'day, Steve. How you going? A lot of you know Steve and a lot of you probably don't. Uh, we've got um, Leslie Fox. G'day, Leslie Fox. Sharon Craver. Hello, Ian. I'm glad to be here. Good to have you here as well. Um is that to to one to one from Salam? Hello and welcome. Uh, you are great, says Luck eighteen hundred. Thank you very much. Okay, now before I get started, I'll just want to be a quick thank you for these people's support between last Friday Night Live and this one. It is Krista Root, Linda Chamberlain, Linda Simon, Patty Miner, Scott Simon, Cinnamon, sorry, uh, Joylin Pursley. Marion Studer, Danette Smith, Jerry Powell, Cheryl Zia, Alicia Langston, Tina Crum, and Milton Torio. Thank you very much for your support throughout the last few weeks. Much appreciated. Also, I have a question that came through, a very touching one here. I'm going to read that later. Now, if you have any questions you want me to address in this show and you're in the live show, simply write a question here because that's what it's all about. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know the answer to all your questions, so there might be someone else in the chat that does. Uh, and if you're watching the replay, simply hit the likes and the thumbs up. No, simply hit the thumbs up and give a comment in the replay. And if you want a question asked in the next show, simply write it as a comment, just a question here. And it gets printed out like this one here, along with your name, and it gets read out in the next show. Who else we got here? Um, uh love your paintings thank you very much so we've got 18 people watching but um no one's really commenting yet so um this is what this show is all about now i do have a touching who's this from kev gray uh ian i lost my mother last week i knew getting in the shed and listening to you while i tried this would help and it has thank you very much for your school and delivery now that was very touching when i heard that the the things that people go through in life and it's not only me but other creators and content creators on youtube they watch to help them get through day by day and kev has um lost his mother i, I feel you there and just getting in the shed and watching my videos helped him throughout the day and that was just so fantastic to know that things like that happen around the world do we all have a coffee? This show goes for about an hour. So um, what are we now? I started at 10 to 8. Different time slot. This I've been so busy. And um, I have not been able to get on on my normal time slot. So I've 
jumped in this morning here and made it happen this morning so those people don't miss out uh we got nh chicky g'day happy friday mine's cold be right back now chicky is a um a uh, youtube member of mine and i just want to say a big hello to all my members of my youtube channel now if you want to be a um a member of my channel simply hit the join tab below if you're on a desktop you will see a join tab follow the prompts and you became a member of my youtube channel now we have john bolton alicia langston wilma voom Rhonda gentle cindy Z zoltowski some of those names are quite difficult to read, but I can do it. Missy Gold, Gloria Lau, Warren Burns, beautiful, all these comments. And all these people will have a little logo of my face next to their name, and you will know that they're a member. And if you want to be a member, simply join below. Warren Barnes, Linda Simmons, NH Chicky. And I can only read your name as it is on your Google account. If you have a different name on Facebook, it'll be different to here. But anyway, you know who you are. Shah Boyset, uh, Dennis Jacker, Yosenku, James Anderson, Tara Hoyt, thank you very much for supporting me. Celeste Watson, Danette Smith, Patty Miner, Blissful Spirits, Shari Fleener, uh, D Flat 821, uh, Paravane Zasanassim. V. Alexander, Lillian Robinson, Siobhan, William Kenyon, Elisa Carroll, Fernand Savoy, Scott Cinnamon, Mary Ham, Janice Byrne, Cindy Greer, Barry Radburn, Greg Sexton and Jeff Green. And these members' colours change next to their name. That's just a month you get one color the next month it changes and the next month it changes and six months and so on the colors change all the way up to you become a gold member um who am i says chicky babe you are your your you nh chicky yours comes out as nh chicky but i don't know who you are on facebook if you are someone different on facebook uh lynn chicky works for me there she goes there chris duffy g'day chris duffy welcome to the show hi Ian. missed a few live but glad to see you alive i missed a few yesterday i didn't get it i was i was due to um do this yesterday about 24 hours ago but um incredibly busy at the moment i'm finding some time to get together to get back into the studio. So keep an eye out on my community tab on my YouTube channel because I'm bringing some old videos from the back of the library catalogue up and just putting them out there so people get a, a quick little notification because there's a lot of people out there that do follow me but do not realise the content that I have. So I like to do that as well. When I have nothing uh, that's been filmed, I like to bring those ones forward. So you've got some content there to watch. just a note to oneself as well it's always good to you might have watched a video but if you're still in the learning process of your art journey watching something that you have already watched you will pick up things that you might make you scratch your head and think hey, i didn't know that and it really seeks in soaks into your brain and when you're going to use that method or use that it comes to fruition because you've really got it soaked into your brain there brain <laughs> Um, hello from Jenk, is it Jenkinson Ber, Jenkins, Jenkinsburg, Gar, Jenkinsburg Gar, from Tessa Griffin, Cindy Greer. Hello, Ian and all. G'day and welcome, Cindy. Cindy, NH Chicky, they're members of mine, as you can see. They've got that little um, icon next to their name and you get little perks as well you get big shout outs in my live show so when i'm doing lives like this nh chicky and cindy Gree, you get shout outs as well because you stick out like the bee's knees uh, i'm about to repaint an old canvas okay so if you're going over the old painting you can find a um i don't know let's say a 240 grit paper or something not too coarse but not too smooth give it a quite a reasonable scuff back go up one way and across the other way okay sweep it down and just get all the lumps out of it and then gesso it with some white gesso and then just simply let that dry you might need 
another coat of gesso, see how you go, and give another, a coat of gesso is one brush strokes this way and that way, in my opinion, and then let that dry. When it's dry, you're ready to paint, okay? It's that easy, real easy. Um, how high you guys, says NH Chicky, and yes, sir, we've got 15 people watching, but we don't have 15 people commenting in the chat here. This show evolve, revolves around me connecting with you in the chat, so I need you to chat for this to work. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here trying to make stuff up because I do not have a set script for this show. It's all on the fly. Okay, so please come forward and say hello, where you're from, or ask me a question. And if I don't know the answer, I'm pretty sure someone else in the chat might do. There we go. Cindy Greer's just put another emoji there, one of the perks you get as well. Thank you very much, Cindy Greer. And NH Chicky's got the smiley faces everywhere. How's Steve? He was there. Oh, there he is. There's Steve right here. Can you see him? There he is. He's just sitting in the background there sitting in the background um what else was there i had to get across um at the moment if you're in my art group the links are in the description below i will go through the links as well um a lot of people are inviting friends to my art group but if you're going to invite your friends to the art group that's fine so long as they're into the arts as well or have an interest in it uh, not just to be your audience, and tell them, listen, there's a few questions, so be sure to answer those, otherwise the guru will not let you in, because if you just don't know who you are and you haven't answered any questions, it's so flippant about it, just, you just don't get in, so you've got to try again. Now, there's several links in my description below, and I want you to be familiar with them. The first link takes you to my... Um, uh, my actual home page uh, join this channel and get perks access to all the perks there's a paypal link now see these brushes down here these are what i use in my tutorials and they're fantastic there's free brushes what are they this is a putter on a brush so when you're first putting your main colors on this gets it on real quick and there ain't no mucking around about it and you get a couple of blending brushes now you need these if you want to blend clouds the way I blend clouds, it's so easy to do once you learn how to do it and you can do some cracking hot clouds as a lot of people have seen the way I show in acrylic how to paint beautiful clouds. So the PayPal link is what you purchase these with or if you're going to purchase one of my tutorial paintings, they're all done on quality canvas and paints for sale. So all my paintings are for sale. Uh, you buy all that through PayPal and people, instead of doing, um, some people just like to support me with some monetary supports and they give me PayPal donations as well. There's a merchandise link that takes you to my Teespring merchandise. There's cups, towels, plates, pillows, leggings, coodies, all sorts of business in there. Have a look, check it out, just see what's in there. It all supports me. There's my Instagram account, which I very rarely use, but it's there anyway. Way My Facebook page. That's where you message me. If you want to say, listen, I want to buy the brushes. How do I get them? Bang, I get onto it and get them to you. Or if it's a painting, or if you just want to simply say hello, there's my Patreons link there. Become a patron. Patrons get early access to my content when it is created. I put it straight up for the patrons straight away so they know what's coming out, okay, before it actually gets um, released onto YouTube. There's my videos link. Now, I have... Oh, I don't know. I have, let's just have a look. I have, uh, where's this one here? I have, uh, I've stopped numbering them now. So where's the last one I numbered? Goodness gracious me. I have over 500 videos on my YouTube channel. Okay, so that's why the video link's there because a lot of people don't realize just what content I do have. Uh, there's also my art for sale. So you'll, you'll see what's available for sale. But if you're not sure, just ask me, is this one available? And I can tell you that's what the Facebook link's all about. Uh, there's my Ianapolis Art Network. That is my Facebook group page. There's my bloopers list and early bloopers. So there's two different bloopers there. Uh, the early bloopers are before Little Buddy came along. And the bloopers is where Little Buddy, you, you might come across Little Buddy there. There is a link to my traceables and reference, reference picks to the... Um, tutorials that are they relevant for and I also have a google translate thrown in there as well okay so 
Give the gurus a thumbs up, says Cindy Gree. I tell you what, me muscly arms keep getting caught on my shirt there. How you going, Steve? He's, he's racked off. He's not, not getting nothing out of you. Howdy, Ian and all, says Ray Cranham. G'day, Ray. Welcome to the show. And Chris Duffy, thank you very much for your super chat donation. That is so much appreciated. Much appreciated there, Chris Duffy. And if you want to do the same thing as Chris Duffy does and says sends a super chat, simply hit the super chat icon down below and follow the prompts there. Uh, NH Chicky is going woot. Now you'll have to explain to me what woot's all about. Maybe something happened there and I didn't know with Steve. I don't know. Uh, hello, Danette Smith, another beautiful member of mine. Danette Smith, big kisses and cuddles to you, my lovely dear. Hello and welcome. Uh, T Rose Lover, how do I join your art classes? If you live in Perth, Western Australia, my city, you're welcome to message me on Facebook. But at the moment, I do not have any online classes. I do want to do that, but I've got to look into doing it because I don't want to just start it up and then fumble and not know how it's happening. So I, I do not have any online art classes at this stage. Uh, so you can ask a bit more about that, T. Rose, in another question here as well. So as it'll keep the show going. NH, I love the bloopers. Uh, Jennifer Strayhorn. G'day, Jennifer. Hello, all the way from Texas. G'day and welcome. Uh, we've got Sherry Williams. Hello, everybody. Susan Chambers. G'day and welcome, Susan. Just going to have a mouthful of my coffee because she's got a bloody long comment there. And I, that's, I'm not the best readers of readers, but I do my best at it anyway. Hello, Ian. I'm visiting my 94-year-old mother in California, IA, and she was wondering what is the difference between oils and acrylics? Very easy. Acrylics are made out of acrylic and oils are made with oils. That's all I can say. There is a science behind paints. Um, acrylics dry quicker. Uh, oils take a lot longer to dry, but I do not know exactly what's in them as per se but what is the difference between them uh, acrylic paint is water washable your brushes wash out in water they dry a lot quicker they don't have fumes this is the difference oils you need spirits to wash out your brushes they can have a fumes to them if you've got the fumy type and they can take weeks and months to dry but they do work in different ways as well. Once you've um, became more advanced in your art journey, you can pull up an acrylic painting and if you can bring it to life with more depth and detail and you're into oils now, you can always get your oils and paint over that as an underpaint. Use it as an underpainting and paint more depth and fine detail with your oil paints because they work very differently. Oil base versus water base. There you go, says Chicky, NH Chicky. Ray Cranham, not done any painting in a while. The, the heat here in the UK is unbearable at the moment. Yeah, well, you might have to wait for the heat to die down. It is a bit uncomfortable unless you've got great air con, but I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people in England don't have air cons because they're not used to getting that heat all the time. But maybe you should invest in one, eh? Australia, when the when the pommies, we call them poms. The Australians call the people from England poms. Bit of Australia trivia here. And a lot of the English people, a lot of the pommies come to Australia. And when they get to not putting down on the heat you're having there, this is just a bit of trivia. When they come here, they start getting our heat and they might complain about it, but we have air cons here so we can put up with it. But um Hence, the Poms complaining about the heat got their nickname, the Whinging Poms. That's what we call them over here. But that's just a bit of trivia there. Thank you, says T. Rose. Um, NH Chicky, sit in the shade, Ray, and paint. You'll forget about the heat in no time. Yeah, we've been getting the news forecast about the heat over there, though, and it is very hot. So let's not be too complacent when someone is suffering either extreme colds or extreme heats. It is very hot over there at the moment. So um, Ray, 
No air con here, absolutely. Uh, NH, it's humid there, Ray, or is it dry heat? Uh, Ray, we are in a drought. Great job, keep it up from KS. Thank you, KS, and welcome to the show. Bring on winter. Now we've got 32 people here. I do know, oh, it just went dropped right down the 21. 10 of them just racked right off. All right, they might be back, they might not. Anyway, if you're watching the replay, simply give me a comment and say, G'day, Ian, I have a question for you and ask away. It will get printed out and it'll be addressed in the next Friday night live show. And this is just my opportunity to meet with my sub subscribers and connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, I like to do this every three weeks. Um, and those of you who do know, I have been very busy. If you if you are a member of my um, art group in Facebook, Ianapolis Art Network, you do you will know that I have been busy with other projects. That, that, of, of, it's my work. Uh, I work on building sites, and I'm building another studio apartment, granny flat rooms, so to speak. And that's in the process of getting built. And at the end of every day, I do a quick walk around with my video camera and film it and put it on my other video channel there. Bring on winter. So hello, says Siobhan, another YouTube member. G'day and welcome, Siobhan. That's awesome, says NH Chicky. I just bought a 24 by 30 canvas for a term long-term project, says Ray Cranham. Good stuff, Ray. Now, just in my opinion, a, a little tip there. If you that's and anybody else or even any beginner out there that's going to do a long term project, if it was me, I would let's just say it's a landscape, all right, and you got your sky, your mid ground, your water, your foreground, whatever trees, grass, rocks, whatever. Do you do you do your background first, whether it's a sky or a mountain. And if, you, if it's a long-term project, you can put it down, but don't do half the sky and put it down and go back the next day because to try and match up the other half of the sky might go a bit skew with. So just do all the sky first, and if you need to put it down, put it down, and then do the next section. Work out how you're going to approach the painting because a lot of the people don't do this. They just start painting. But if you really want to have more fun because – the, the the journey in art is the journey itself. It's not the end painting, okay? The actual journey within your art journey is the actual painting it itself, getting things set up and actually doing all that, making the painting happen. Because once the painting's done, that little snippet of your journey is done, you're off to your next bit. And work out, okay, there's my reference picture, or that's what I'm going to paint. I'll do this section first, and then I'll have a break. I'll do that as another section where I don't have to worry about matching colours or whatever. If you have a wet palette, that's fine. But these things you've got to take into consideration. Uh, so if anyone is going to do a long-term project, that's the way I would go about it. Um, Espore Maria Salute. Hello there, Espore. Es, es, espore. You speak French, please. No, I cannot speak French. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I cannot speak French. Nichelle Husby. Hello, Ian. Hello, Nichelle. Uh, Chick, Chicky saying amen. And Ray, I do have reference picks. Okay. Where have we been going for? Well, I've been going for, where are we? I've been going for almost half an hour, I think. Where, where did they, do we have a thing on here? Maybe I can look here. Yeah. Okay. What else do I normally need to address? I need some ideas. There are free websites on the internet. Um, there are uh, two that I know of is um, Pixabay and Upsplash. They have pictures of landscapes, waterscapes, fantasy. Uh, you just type in what you want to look for in the search bar on that site and you'll see an array of um, reference photos. Um, a lot of um, YouTubers do use those pictures but we make it out we try and 
make it our own i've used several from there or i've even used a bit of one picture a bit of another picture and make my own picture out of that uh what i'm doing now when i do use those i do give thanks to the person who owns that photo in my credits in my youtube video or in the description below um i have had one silly um person that obviously saw watched one of my videos and they were disgusted that i ripped my one of my paintings off from another youtuber and i'm like what are this person on about and so i had a look and i, I did a i did a um a like a pine tree in the snow and obviously someone else had painted that and i didn't know this and um they were telling me what a mongrel i was i copied it like for like this that and the other and when i realized what they're on about i said i, I just pretty much oh you silly bugger that person and myself we've used the same picture from the same free website they've done their version i've done my version this person saw that one first then when they saw mine they thought oh, i ripped that person off but that's just how it goes i have seen other people do um renditions of the same reference that i've used i can tell it looks totally different but i can tell it's from the same reference and it happens a lot so don't be discouraged if you see because there are a lot of youtubers out there so don't be discouraged if you see similar uh, references getting around because we do use those sites we can't bring everything out of our head we don't have an endless pit of references in there uh, some of us can create our own some of us are photographers and create our own work I am not a photographer. I am more a videographer, if anything. Uh, so, yeah, that's how that works there. Uh, Deidre, oh, yup, yup, says Chicky. Deidre uh, Bailu. Hi, Steve. I have been looking at your paw prints when you sign your paintings. Oh, there we go. Uh, you are very good. I have been wondering which cat you are ian shows your picture ian shows your picture steve is steve steve is the colored one he was here earlier in the show if you rewind it if you're watching the replay you will see him there um and i have three i have three cats uh, and the two black and whites in their tuxedo colors is mary lou jackson and bernard watson they are brother and sister and obviously steve which is a tabby tortoiseshell color one beautiful little man he is now Laleen is sending hearts thank you Laleen Laleen I can't pronounce the rest of your name Temeni Ray is saying is it cheating to use a projector to sketch out what I want to do no it's not nothing is cheating you're creating art an artist or an art piece does not have to be done from your mind and from your skill and wow look what i can do if you can use a reference if you need a traceable if you need a projector it will help you get perspective and know where's where and over time you might feel i don't even need it anymore that's how it works so in my opinion no it is not cheating there ray it is not cheating at all by all means use it there probably are some artists that like to hide the methods that they've used a reference or they've used a traceable or they use the projector to try and come across as something that they're not really but they're the ones that are cheating all right not you <laughs> okay lots of people do i'm sure says chick chicky what do you get uh what got you started painting says michelle uh good question i've been asked this before and i'll answer it again uh watching tv in the afternoon this paint show used to come on and i kept turning it off because i just wasn't interested in it and every afternoon that show was on when i was watching tv and i thought i'll just watch it because what is it all about i watched it and i thought oh yeah and so then the next day it was on again oh i watched it again <clears throat> excuse me and i was getting hooked and then i thought you know what i'll grab some paint brushes i'll give this a go it looks pretty easy bought some brushes and my buggery i could not paint for nuts uh so i was very frustrated so i went on youtube learned how to paint i've watched a couple of people there it was very confusing in the beginning and then i stumbled across a couple of people that was sort of giving me some good ideas or, on how to do things and then i just self-evolved from there 
uh, what got you the painting? Okay, uh, Deidre, D E R. Oh, yours is spelt different to my sister. Yours is D E I R D R E. My sister's is D E I R D R I E. By the way, I am in lower. I am in. I am in lower USA. Good to have you here, Deidre. Uh, Chicky, can you paint a dragon? Sometimes I probably can. Something I can look into. Here we go. Itchy nose again. Every time I go live, get an itchy nose. Uh, I did a dragon. Chicky, never done one again. Uh, I love dragons, unicorns in, and, and whatnot. Uh, just a little hint. I'm not into sort of... I don't. I probably might have spun out a couple, but I'm not really into those unicorn, fairy dust, dragony type of things. I like to show a beginner in their journey how to paint, perspective, size, using the colours, and like landscapes or waterscapes or objects or moons or whatever. I do some advanced as well, um, but I'm not quite a fan of painting something fairy fancy dusty weird stuff like that nothing against people who do but it's just something that i can't feel i can get into i've probably done something near that in my early videos but it's just something i don't hook onto. um my first one looked like dogs horses says chick try again ray dave one two three r is there a difference between painting on canvas and canvas panels you know what I love this question because it's so good from Dave here. And the good thing about it is there's so many questions that get asked, whether it's me, at me, or at somebody else. And if you look at the question, you can simply answer it yourself by doing what you're asking. You paint on a canvas and you paint on a panel and you see what the difference are. I have and I know what the difference are. I could say, in my opinion, yes, there is a difference, but some other people might say, well, no, there isn't or whatever, whatever. But a lot of questions can be answered just by doing what you're asking. Like someone asked, what's the difference between oils and acrylics? If you got yourself, if you have or got yourself some oils and acrylics, you give it a go and you will find out yourself as well. But um, no harm in asking these questions as well. It's just I like to put that out there that a lot of questions are answerable by actually doing what you're asking. Because uh, some people ask, what if I put this in my paint, will it work? And I'm like, well, if I've done it, I can give you an answer. But if I haven't done it or if you're ever curious, you can always try that and see how it's working for you because everyone is different. Every person is unique and every person has their own habits. And this all comes out in your art journey. People have their own art styles and you can't look at them style and go, I'm going to have that style. Your style will come to you through your habits and the way you use colours and paints and whatnot, and that'll create your style. You can't create it. It'll just come with your habits, okay? And that's because everyone's different. I might use a brush this way. Someone might use it that way or whatever, whatever, and all this shows in your body of work and when you look back at it all, okay? That makes sense as um, Chicky. Is it cheeky? Yes. Leslie Fox, what medium can you use with acrylics besides water? There are glosses that may give it a bit more of a gloss. There are glazes. Um, what I, I don't use very many. I use um, retarder as well. That keeps it wet longer. So I've got time to blend a sky before it dries up. Well, I have said it in a lot of my earlier videos, when you go into your art store where you're buying your paints and bits and bobs and brushes, educate yourself and ask questions in there. That's what I used to do. It doesn't cost you nothing to ask a question and it's free information. And they even have scattered around. I know the art shop I go to, uh, they've, they've got leaflets and bits and bobs scattered around the whole store with information on them as well. And that's part of your art journey. It's not just buying paints and painting. It's looking at literature like that and working out, oh, this one's about acrylic. What does this one say? And you're reading that and you, you that's part of your journey as well, not just the painting. Just remember that, okay? Um, Ray, I think I post it on Ian's Facebook page. 
Nichelle, have you ever experienced, no, have you experimented with water, colour or oils? Why did you choose acrylics to focus on? Um, I just went out, well, the, the, the first guy I watched on TV, he was an Australian guy, some of you might even know of him, Wayne Clements. Um, he was using water-based acrylics, I mean water-based oils. But um, I, I know the difference between oils and acrylics and I just thought, well, I'm going acrylic because I can't be bothered washing out in terps all the time. Um, so I went for acrylics because I know they dry easier and that's that's just why I went for acrylics. Uh, have you experimented with colour or with watercolours? I'm not interested in watercolours. I haven't even experimented with it. I've got nothing against watercolours, but I just I don't have an interest in that. Same with paint pouring. I don't have an interest in paint pouring. Nothing against it. I've seen some beautiful work out there, but it just doesn't interest me, okay? Um, so I do have some water-based oils. I haven't had the time or opportunity yet, but I want to do some of them over my acrylic paints. Uh just to give some ideas what beginners can do with that stuff. I looked over there because I've got one, but it's, I'll just go and grab it for you. I've shown it in other videos before, and um, I just want to give you an idea what you can do with um, this here. Is a, This was a lesson how you can turn a beginning painting from this to this. Now, this one is oil, water-based oils. I did the same painting but in, where are we, in oils, water-based oils, okay? You can see the difference in the, the paints. Now, I, why I picked these up, I do have another one here that it was just a, uh, I'll get back to there in a minute, so I better mark that where I was up to. Um, these are all acrylics. These were all art lessons that I did on my YouTube channel. Uh, these, if they're old paintings, you're not going to sell them, this, that, and the other. You can use them as underpaintings, okay? Um, you would have seen these on my channel. Now, let's find that one. Where the hell is it? It's gone. It's the only one that's not here. It's It was a mountain, and I painted um, a, a oils over it, and it came out so much lustful and clear. Well, sorry about that. I've, actually, one fell down behind the cabinet, and it was probably that one. You know, well, okay can't show it to you sorry but yeah it it just made it more deep shiny and lustful so that's something you can do yep yep barry radburn good morning ian and everybody g'day barry good to have you here welcome hello barry says chicky barry radburn back at you uh i just got an idea i'm going to paint a tasmanian tiger uh, like hiding in the brush or sneaky. Uh, this is a funny name. I'm going to try and pronounce it here. Irrit. Is it Irrit? Irrit Hem Hemeni. How do you choose the subject you like, you would like to paint? Uh, normally by um, the subject. Oh, it's, it's pretty. Hard. It's an easy question to answer, but it's sort of a difficult one, isn't it? Um, I look for colours, layouts. Um, the something that if there's something in it that just sort of catches your eye, I look for those sort of issues within a picture or an idea to put onto my channel. I'm not saying all mine are eye catchy, but that's the thing I go for. So things that look like they're in front and behind and just simple things that we miss out like shadows and stuff like that. These are sort of things that I go for. And I do mainly landscapes, skies, clouds, water, ocean scenes, lots of ocean scenes, all sorts of bits and bobs. Um, how do you choose? That was from Irrit. Uh, Susan Chambers and... Have you ever used sable brushes or Kolinsky brushes? No, I have not. 
I um, these ones are just from the hardware store that I use for blending. They work excellent to blend the way I teach skies. Um, but I've just got some hog bristle fan brushes, medium and strong, strong and soft and medium hairs in them, or bristles. Sorry, um, I've just got myself some filberts. I'm not a full quid on brushes, so I don't know all the. Um, oh, you need this brush for that. You need that brush for that. You can use anything as a brush. People use. Um, q-tips and sponges and tissues all sorts of things uh, and it doesn't have to be an expensive brush i have had expensive brushes that i bought and they just haven't lasted as long as some of the dirty rotten snotty cheap ones you know what i mean so um i've never used sable or kolinsky brushes there susan no i have not would you talk about the rule of thirds okay i'm just going to finish the last of my coffee and i'm going to start closing this up very soon okay so if you have anything come forward with it just tell me who you are ask a question whatever rule of thirds in my opinion because like i said again everyone might explain it different and someone might think well no he's doing it or saying it or they're doing it or saying it wrong in my opinion the rule of thirds that gets around when you're in your art journey if you got a blank scene and it's like just a road and you're going to put objects there put three or five not uh two or four okay um Break up your 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 painting surface into three sections, but don't do them three even sections. Break it up. And what I mean by that is, uh, where's a piece of paper? Oh, where did that go? Here it is. Here, I want to draw it down. So let's just say this is a landscape painting. Don't. I've, and I've probably even done this. Don't make your horizon line and your sky all even thirds there okay break it up so as they are you'll have your horizon there bit of water there and something there so it's all down there not at, and the top can be sky um rules a third if you're going to have some trees onto one side say you're going to have a couple of big trees there do about three or one or five, not just two or four. Um, I hope this is making sense. Uh, I don't follow it or make sure or I've got to stick to the rule of thirds in here. I just do my painting so it looks pleasing to the eye. And sometimes you'll sit back and look at a painting after many days of painting it and you're analysing it. You're looking at it and you're thinking, well, I've made a bit of a boo-boo there. I'm going to damn well make sure I don't do that in my next painting. So I I do that. I've not got it in my mind. Don't break the rule of thirds going on. If it happens, it happens. And you look at it and you learn from it. And you know not to do it. Uh, um, where are we? Okay. Is there any... There is no wrong way, sir. The, the only way is your way. And if you're happy with your way, it's the right way. That's all that matters. Absolutely cheeky. Uh, thank you, Danette Smith. Cyber hugs and kisses to you, sweetheart. Thank you very much for your super chat donation. And Nichelle Husby, Husin, Husin, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Nichelle, am I pronouncing it right? Nichelle Husby. Thank you very much for your super chat donation. I'm assuming that is a female. If it is, cyber hugs and kisses to you. Uh, thank you very much for your super chat donation there. Smiley face from Chicky. Uh, Ray, my grandson wants me to paint a universe scene. I have something like that in my catalogue. So check out my, if you don't already know about it, my videos tab. In, on my YouTube channel, scroll down, there's quite a lot there and you'll start seeing some, some of my early stuff there. I've done some, I've done a big moon in space with the colourful space dust and all that sort of business. I forget what they call it. But, yeah, that's all going on there. Now, I'm going to start wrapping this show up because I've got a lot to get on to today. So um, I want to thank you for watching me. Thank you for following me on YouTube and supporting my channel keep watching my videos and if you want to 
pay nothing to support my videos or my channel just simply watch my ads it helps me out a lot uh, check out all the links in the description below uh, now jerry powell hello jerry powell the man enjoying my tea with you tonight moon beam kisses on your xd dreams tonight thank you very much there jerry powell you're a lovely thanks ian i will check it out thank you says chicky all right and like i said before if you like what i'm doing you tell your friends but if you don't like what i'm doing you tell everybody all right goodbye good luck and good on you oh, oh well. uh, where's it? that's finished Oh, that niche, 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 Nichelle was a woman. Uh, and you got my first name correct, Nichelle. Nichelle, Nichelle Marbell. Oh, right. I better ring up Mr. G, Mr. G Banger there, and see what we're up to today and get that decking made up. Got to do some decking. Oh, I've gone and left the camera on, haven't I? such a duffer but yeah i've got to go out to work it's sunday morning here if you must know the exact day and i've got to go out to work all right so i'm gonna get a coffee on the service station on the way and get in my ute and get going thanks ian and good on you thank you danette smith what's that one there smegillion i hope i said that right bless you from sandy uh smeg Gillian, oh, that's probably Gillian. Uh, thanks, Ian. Good on you. Thanks, thank you. I'm a, Ian, yeah, I thought you said Ian. Uh, yes, I'm a woman. All right, well, I better go. Why I'm taking so long because I've got to go from this one, I'll do my outro, and then I've got to go to this one and find the actual live that I'm on and actually, um, end the stream. There it is. There. So it's Uru from the Guru.